Today I will show you how to create responsive asymmetric triangles and shapes in Webflow, how and where to use them and all natively. Let's get started. Hello friends, this is Kabarza. I'm a Webflow coach at Flux Academy and today I will show you a very cool Webflow CSS trick, how to use borders to create triangles, uh, where to use them and how they actually work. And later on you can use these tricks to create awesome shapes like these seen as uh, award-winning websites, um, beautiful shapes as of here and also very interesting uh, asymmetric shapes and designs all using this cool CSS trick. So let's get into the Webflow build. All right, uh, for the start, we're going to recreate a very simple testimonial section with asymmetric shapes on top and the bottom of it. So imagine you have a design like this. How would you approach creating this um, the triangles? Where are the triangles? I outlined them for you. So. Um, at least in this approach, we are going to create a triangle on the top, one on the bottom, and um, the main content is inside of a div wrapping the whole thing together. So I already have this, um, the content inside of it, but I'm going to add a div block and give it a class name of triangle. Triangle, all right? And now I'm going to show you how to create it and also have it responsive. For that, we need just the border property simply with the border property we are going um, to select the left or the top one first doesn't matter so i'm going to say this is going to be 100 viewport width so the left border is taking all the width available to, in the viewport and now we are going to give it some height the height would be on the top so for that we can also use viewport because it's more um responsive we can say something like five viewport now we just see this black bar because we need to change the color of the top one from black to be transparent now it's transparent and we see voila, you ha we have a triangle now for the left one we can change the color to the to be this purple we can uh, duplicate our triangle move it to the bottom and here we can do one of the two things so one would be much easier to give it a class um, a modifier and then transform and rotate it alongside the z-axis so you would be rotating uh, on the z-axis to create this um, but of course with a modifier on top of it but i want just to show you how this was created again so i'm going to actually uh, duplicate the class and call it something like triangle, triangle, um, bottom, or just bottom. And for this one, I'll uh, delete the styles and recreate it so you see how it's done. So for this one, we are going to do the opposite of the top uh, version. So we say 100 viewport on the right one, and then for the bottom one, we say 5VW, again for viewport width, and then we make it um, transparent. Then we change the color, this one, to be purple. So now we have this perfect asymmetric shape, if it makes sense. Um, and now let's, let's continue so I can show you how this exactly works and how you can take advantages of it and make it, make it do whatever you want. So now I'm going to show you how this property exactly works and so you can completely understand it and use it in any uh, given place. So uh, I prepared this section and this called main triangle, but it is not a triangle. I'll show you what it is. So this is just a div block with border being applied to it. So it has a border on all sides and with the color purple and it's 10 view w so we essentially just see a thick border now i'm going to remove that one color uh, because underneath we actually have different colors for each side of the border so for the top we have black and then red for the right um, purple bottom and yellow so 
something interesting that we see here and that we can learn from is that these borders are pushing each other so they are they are meeting in the middle and if i remove the size that we have here if i completely remove the size all it stays is just the border size so there is no div block size this is just the size of the borders uh, pushing the div block to be uh, the size we see and now we want to remove some of the colors to to essentially get for example we want the black one to remain so we want to remove the, um, the the red and the blue and i'll show you how to remove the yellow one so if i remove the red one just by simply saying i don't want a border there and then with the uh, purple one the same thing now we see we have this uh, dual tone to triangle this is a very fun looking one now with the yellow one we can say i want it to be uh, transparent so now we just have a triangle um, in black so what can you create with a cool black triangle let me show you so johnny gomez the brand designer at webflow he has many interesting builds uh, builds but especially this one he has uh, he has this perfect looking geometric uh, hero section all built with circles and triangles and it all looks perfect but the moment we start um, changing the viewport of the screen the triangles break why is so because um, here we have the triangles as an svg applied to the background and they are just essentially staying in the background and the soon we um, the moment we move the uh, we change the viewport with uh, they break they break the design for that i already made a class boom and here we go what's the difference so no matter how much i change the screen size uh you see it stays perfectly uh the same place why because i'm essentially looking at the design and saying okay this part is one uh, half of the so the right one has one half of the whole viewport width and then it's again one half of that so it's one fourth 25 vw so if we come here uh, we have 25 vw for the right one and then 50 vh for the top one because now we have um, viewport height and for viewport height um, we are using 50 because it's half of the screen uh, as we see here and this is going to always calculate it based on the screen uh, dimensions and it will always stay perfectly at that place so that was it for this tutorial i hope you liked it and i'll be in the comments below answering you guys so just let me know what types of uh, tutorials especially webflow tutorials you want to see on the channel on, and i will be uh, considering making them. So till then, thank you so much for watching and peace.